So in this video, I am going to configure a Windows laptop to dual boot with Kali. So first of all, I'm going to download the Kali software and I'm going to create a bootable USB drive. So I'm here at the Kali website, kali.org. I'm going to click on download. So I'm going to download this one. This is the recommended version. It's 64 bit. So it's downloaded and it's an ISO file. I'm going to move it to the desktop. I'm also going to download Rufus to create the bootable USB drive. So I already downloaded it, so I'm going to open Rufus. So the size of the USB drive I'm using is 16 gigs. I'm going to click on select. So this is the Kali ISO file. I'll click start. Click OK. I'll click OK. And it's creating the USB bootable drive. So the USB drive was created successfully with Rufus. So this is the laptop, so I'm going to create a separate space for Kali. So on the search section, I'm going to type disk management. I'll click on that. So the size of the drive in the Lenovo laptop is one terabyte. So there's a lot of space. So I'm just going to right click the C drive, click on string volume. So here I need to enter the amount of space to string in megabytes. So I'm going to create a separate space of 200 gigabytes. I'll click on string and it created it here. So if I need more additional space, all I need to do is just right click the C drive again, click on string volume and just type here the amount of space I need. So I'll type another 50. I'll click string and it increased the space. So now I'm going to take the USB drive that was created and I'm going to boot up the laptop with the USB drive. So this is the laptop and this is the 16 gigabyte USB drive with Kali. So now I'm going to boot up the laptop. So before I boot up the laptop with Kali, I need to disable secure boot in the BIOS. So this is the BIOS of the Lenovo laptop. So now I'm going to disable secure boot. So I have to go to security. I'm going to click on that. Click on secure boot. And I'm going to turn it off here. And I'm going to save and exit. I'm going to hit enter. To launch the boot menu. So I'm going to hit F12 on the keyboard. So now I have the boot menu. So I'm going to choose the USB. I'm going to click on it and it's going to boot up from the USB drive. So now I get this Kali Linux screen. Now I have these options graphical install or install. I am going to choose install. On this page, I'm going to choose English the country, United States. I'm going to choose American English. Hit enter. So if you get to this screen, detect network hardware, and it says here if you want to update the firmware, you can. I'm going to select no. Hit enter. Okay, it says please enter the host name for this system. I'm going to leave it as Kali. So I'm going to hit continue. Domain name, I'm going to leave it blank. Click continue. Full name of the user, I'm going to type Kali. Click continue. Username for your account, I'm going to leave it as Kali. Click continue. So now I have to enter a password. I'm just going to type Kali. Hit continue. So I'm going to retype the password. So my time zone is Eastern. I'm going to hit enter. So on this page, I'm going to use the guided, use the largest continuous free space. Hit enter. 
all files in one petition recommended for new users. I'm going to choose this first option. I'm going to leave it as default, hit enter. So on this page, I'm going to leave it as default, finish petitioning and write changes to this. So to write changes to this, I'm going to select yes, hit enter. So this is installing the base system. So on this page, this is a software selection. And this is the default selection. So I notice if I leave it as default and I click continue, I'm going to get an error message. I'm going to uncheck the last two options. So to uncheck the last two options, I just have to hit the space bar. I'll hit continue. And the software is installing. So it's finishing the installation and the installation is complete. So I'm going to hit continue. So I'm going to boot up the laptop. So this is the boot menu screen I get. I get Kali as the first option. I can boot from Kali and I can also choose to boot from Windows. So I'm going to choose Kali. This is the first option. I'll hit enter. I get the logon screen. So the username is Kali and the password is also Kali. So I'm logged in. This is the Kali operating system. So Kali was installed successfully as a dual boot with Windows in a laptop. So you can also update and upgrade Kali. It's a good practice to do so. And this is the command to place in the CLI command prompt. So I'm going to update it. I'll type sudo apt update. Hit enter. I need to enter the password. And it updated. So I'm going to boot up the laptop. And now I get the options. I can boot up from Kali or I can boot up from Windows. So Kali is the first option. So I'm going to choose Windows to boot up from and I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard and it's booting up from Windows. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.